So this, uh, I I think I should show a little bit of this because I don't I don't uh, know if you, mostly people don't even realize, but the camera moves a lot in whatever movie we uh, or TV show or like anything that you're watching, and it <laughs> there is like a lot of thought put into it and. Yeah, this I think the initial part quickly explains what, what and why. The way in which the camera moves isn't an arbitrary choice made by filmmakers, or at least it shouldn't be. Each choice made by cinematographers or directors should be a deliberate one that is responsible for visually communicating information or an emotional tone. From early on in cinema, people worked out that the camera presents a point of view and that moving the position of the camera in different ways during a shot can have different effects on how that shot is perceived by audiences. The way in which information on screen is presented and in what order that information is presented can also be controlled by the motion of the camera. So today I thought I'll look at four common types of camera movement, go over how they are technically achieved with what gear and uncover how each can be used to communicate different emotional tones. So um, that's that. I really don't want to go into much details right now, because, uh, but it's again, uh, if you no matter what kind of project that you're working on, you will always have the option of moving the camera. But at the same time, it's like why? And even if you get the answer for why, you will have to figure out how the how of it. Even like right now, just even if you try with a DSLR and stuff to move, walk around with the camera and give some movement, it might be jerky and like. So then how do you stabilize it? Do, it in, do you do it in post or do you use things like, you must have seen those gimbals and steady cams. <laughs> so, okay, it's another aspect in itself. So maybe later on, but another very important aesthetical decisions that you will be required to make. 